If you're thinking about maybe getting into the game industry, do it. It's a great, it's a great industry to be in. There is no one path into this. I, I think I've experienced this for sure, where I thought that if you programmed and you wanted to get into gaming, you had to be a game developer. And that was like essentially it. But I, that quickly got dispelled when you figure out all the other things that go into kind of making a game. Those business and accounting and, and kind of, you know, not things you would think of at the top of mind for game development really, you know, do have a place. If you're passionate about music, there's a space for you there. If you're passionate about game design, there's a space. If you're passionate about like just logic and problem solving, there's a space for you for that. Maybe you're gonna be a visual artist. Maybe you care a lot about story and you're a great storyteller. So maybe you'll be a narrative designer. Maybe you're a person who cares a lot about the process and the nitty gritty pieces of taking something and putting all the parts together. So you'll be an engineer, you'll be a developer in that sense. You'll be a producer. You're the person who keeps us all on track and also sets the tone and the vision and helps us push for it. Maybe you'll build your own game studio. Maybe you'll be a researcher. This is for you. This place is for you. This space is for you. Get after it. My recommendation to folks younger than me is always go do something. Get your hands dirty, like go and try something, go make something, go explore a little bit through action. You know, you can download Unity, you can download Unreal and just mess around in it, it's free. Uh, you can download Twine and play around and build uh, visual novels on your own. When you're, you know, just playing games in your free time, maybe have a more of a critical lens into the games you're playing and why you like them or why you don't like them. Start to deconstruct them like, this is fun, but why is it fun? Is it fun because the controls feel this way? Is it fun because the enemies do this or the animations are this? And then thinking about like, okay, how might I improve this if I had an opportunity to do so? I've learned quite a bit by asking. I didn't know anything about cars. Wasn't interested in cars. And I work, well, you know, I work for Forza. Um, and I know now more about cars than I ever thought that I would want to ever know. Um, and I can have a conversation about them. But when I started, um, you know, I knew General Motors and Ford and, and that was it. But I knew how to write and I knew how to write a contract. So I trusted that. Like, don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to admit that you don't know something. Like, no one expects you to know everything, but are you willing to learn it? Are you willing to do the work to actually get the information? Are you willing to partner with the right people to learn the things that you need to be successful? Because a lot of times you don't have to learn from experience. You can learn from other people who have experienced things already and they can kind of guide you and uh, talk to you about what they learned along the way. Get to know people in the industry. This is an industry with a lot of fantastic relationships between all of the creators and everyone who participates in it. And those relationships will really, really help you over time but you don't want to try to force it. You know, if your personality type isn't one that you like want to go out there and talk to everyone, you don't have to. You just have to find one or two people that you really have an easy connection with that you can that you can talk to, that you learn from, that you can share stuff with back to them and really have something to talk about with those people that you're looking to have as your mentor. So find those mentors, don't force those mentors, but it's it's super critical and super important. Hard things happen. Like you have a plan, you think it's all gonna go according to plan, and then something happens that you didn't anticipate and it can just be so devastating. But the, the real test of what gets you to where you wanna go is not what happens to you, it's how you choose to respond to what happened. The ability to fight through adversity Having this ability, having the ability to stick to it and go the extra, extra step, because it is not easy. Anything worth having comes at a price. Um, if you bring this to the table, you will go long, long ways. Some of you listening to this might be in those moments, you're gonna experience those moments, and I'm just here to tell you, like, don't give up. You're going to look back on your life and see that you spent way more of your time on the journey to your goals than the actual goals themselves, and that's what will stick with you. Uh, make sure that you uh, find the things that are going to give you the most energy and the most joy, 
out of that journey towards your goals. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean not not have any goals, but make sure that you find as much enjoyment as you can out of the journey, because that is what you're going to spend most of your life on. And that's what you will, where your regrets will come from, where your happiness will come from when you look back. It's interesting how much a person can hold themselves back. I probably was more timid than I needed to be. I was so, so hard on myself when I was younger, and I always felt I had to do everything perfectly. And then I realized that by doing that, I was holding myself back. Like I wasn't willing to take any risks. I was living in my own head, reevaluating every little thing I had said or did. And that made it impossible for me to actually just get up and go do it again, which is what it takes. I had to lean through some of that discomfort of like, well, I feel like, you know, maybe it's inappropriate for me to just poke my head out here and say this thing or ask to be included in this thing or share this opinion over here. And it's like, yeah, no, it's better to contribute and participate and be a much more active person on the team. And ultimately that helps the whole team. You meet a lot of uh, gatekeepers that will kind of make you feel like you're not up to this. Uh, you don't have the pedigree, you don't have the background to know how to do this. And ignore them, <laughs> just keep driving, you know, and push and, you know, create the games you want to see. Cause there's a lot of people that want to see them too. This might sound corny, but gaming really is for everyone, and we need to make sure we're making it that way.